It's definitely in there. Yeah, you go home without her, go. Mothers and fuckers! Bastards of all ages! Gravel and Varenza present! Ingleside University's brand new problem! <laughs> Who told you guys? Evelyn. Ah. I figured you'd be celebrating. Living large, getting wasted. Yeah, I'm a regular party animal. What am I thinking? Are you recording? I prefer the term documenting. No, but seriously. Congratulations, you deserve this. Ingleside's gonna be perfect for you. Just try not to have a complete breakdown being so far away from us. No promises. I know it'll be torture not to see this face every day. However will I survive. I trust that you'll have the strength to endure. I can only hope that I'll be able to say the same for us. It'll be weird without you here. I mean, I'll text. For you, I might even call. Well, willing to make a phone call. We should date or something. Maybe we should. Hey, lovebirds. Remember me? I still exist. Who are you again? Seriously, though, guys. I won't be leaving until August. You're stuck with me for a little longer. Unfortunately. Fight me, Evelyn! I will! I'll kick your ass! <laughs> She's right, you know. Yeah, I know. Come on, we're going out. Are we now? Yup. And do I get a say in this? Nope. nope. You know, I'm not sure if that was more horrifying or impressive. Whichever gets you off your ass and over to the diner on Blackwood Avenue. You really don't own anything that's not black, do you? It's a choice. <sighs> Which earrings do you like better? They're both good. You're not helping. Why are we doing this anyway? You never ask me for fashion advice, and for good reason. 99% of my wardrobe is collared shirts and sweaters. Also, why the camera? So I can go back and watch it next time to get ideas. Tights or knee-high socks? What's up with you? You're putting way too much thought into this. It's not like it's... Oh! No. Oh, I see what's going on here. No, you don't. Shut up. This is a date, isn't it? What? Are you gonna play protected big sister now? Who cares? Uh, I do, because that changes everything. Where's that choker with the cameo old man Dan got you for your birthday last year? Right here. Now, these socks. They go just above the knee, right? Right. Good. Shoes, I'd say the cargo boots contrast the dress. Hair's good. I suggest a lighter lipstick than normal, so if you two kiss, you don't have to worry about it being super visible on him. Her. Hmm? Her! I... She's a girl. Well, in that case, so you won't have to worry about it being super visible on her. But honestly, if you have a darker one that doesn't come off easily, knock yourself out. You took that very well. Yeah, of course. I'm not a bigot or a hypocrite, so- Wait, what do you mean? I thought you don't do girls. Well, I don't. I... Well, since we're coming out, you might as well know. Just... just... don't tell mom and dad yet, got it? Lips are sealed. I'm turning this off first. There! See it? Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that's a plane, dude. But do you know that it's a plane? He's got a point, you know. We don't know for sure what it is, so by definition that makes it an unidentified flying object. Shit, dude. You're right. <laughs> I'm gonna miss this, you know. Elliot. No. You're going to Maine, Henry. You're probably busy with your school stuff, too. You haven't got much longer for nights like this. Elliot, it may be different, but who says everything's just gonna stop? It's not like I won't visit. Plus, I'm not sure you'd let us get out of these investigations even if we wanted to. And you'll still be able to wake me up at all hours. <laughs> I'm holding you to that. And what are you three doing? Our... Best? It's two in the morning. 
I think it's time to pack it in. But mom... <laughs> Inside. Are you staying the night, Henry? Might as well. Gross. Excuse me, I am a delight. <laughs> we'll be in in a bit. Me tell her yet? No. You know she'll be fine with this. It's a big thing. You should have seen me freaking out about how I was going to tell you guys. I get it. And if you ever want someone there to back you up, you know where to find us. Even though you haven't told us your new name yet. I want to finalize it before I make any announcements. I'm bouncing between two right now. One's going to end up as the middle name, I'm just not sure which. <laughs> well, I'm sure they're both wonderful. <laughs> Guys, stop! <laughs> No way! This is a big moment! The true identity of the firstborn Frankenstein's son. A mystery 17 years in the making. Which, for some reason, has to be revealed at Henry's house. Look, I'm just not ready to drop that bomb on Mom and Dad yet. They've got enough going on. Once Mom feels a little better, then we'll worry about that. Right. Who'd like to do the honors? Boyfriend privilege! Damn it. Always blocked by the boyfriend privilege. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you guys are dorks. I hereby announce the true name of this man, dearest friend, partner, and brother. Dude, if you don't spit it out, I'm gonna lose it. A secret so well kept that no one dare to so much as whisper. I am literally begging you to just get it over with. <clears throat> the name being Victor Percival Frankenstein. Percival? What? <laughs> is the most pretentious thing I've ever heard. And I love it. It really does suit you. Well, I figured we already had William Jonas and Evelyn Renata. Might as well keep up the tradition of old-fashioned names. It's fitting, I like it. That is one sexy name if I've ever heard one. Even if it is an old man name. <laughs> You're a jerk. I just don't see why you didn't tell me. You didn't ask! Forty dollars a person and all you do is walk through a hundred exhibits about how the thing was built? Then you stand outside in the wind where it's so crowded you can barely move. Hey, you're the one who said that you wanted to go to the top of the Empire State Building. I wasn't going to crush your dream. Man, are you recording me? Yes! I want to remember this look of absolute misery on your face. Oh, you want misery. Want to hear how it got worse? We're in Central Park and I see this girl, right? Gorgeous, I mean it. And she said her name was. And we get to talking and I invite her to the Empire State Building too. I have this whole plan. I'm gonna test the water, see if she's interested, and who knows? Nothing creepy, obviously, but a guy can hope to score a date. So we get up there, and before I can say anything, she kisses me. Shut up! Seriously! I think, well, this is going perfectly. And you know what she says to me? Tell me. She says, I really want to see you again, Harry. <laughs> I swear to God. Hello, this is my best friend, Harry Clerval. <laughs> I nearly died, Victor. I'm nearly dying right now, oh my God! That's it. I'm never going to try to pick someone up ever again. <laughs> you don't mean that. I do. If anything's going to happen, I'll let it happen naturally. Not all of us can have our fucking soulmate live right across the hall. Some of us have to work for it. Victor? What? What is it? We need to go. It's... It's mom. There's nothing really noteworthy in any of these. If there were, I'm sure I would have picked up on it a long time ago. It's not exactly the first time I've gone through them. There's nothing to suggest that there was anything else going on behind the scenes. Not that I'd really know what to look for, even if there were. I keep thinking about the woman. What she said. That hers was the last voice Mom heard before she died. What does that mean? What if... Cancer works quickly, especially if you catch it late. 
That'd be very convenient for something trying to get rid of someone who is looking into things they shouldn't know about. And if mom got on the wrong side of this thing that can kill with a glance. When she died, it, it didn't feel right. I'd always seen my mother as invincible, like every little kid does. I was so convinced that she would be okay. Because she had to be. Mom could beat her cancer because she could beat anything. I believed that even at that age. Then she was gone. And it still didn't sit right with me. I always felt like something about it was wrong. And now, even with what little information I have, I think I might be onto something.